The objective within this lesson is to multiply decimal fractions with tenths by multi-digit whole numbers. Here we have 43 times 2 and 4 tenths. Let's round the factors to estimate the product. 43 is close to 40. 2 and 4 tenths is close to 2. So our estimate is 40 times 2, which is 80. Since we rounded both of these numbers down, our estimate will actually be lower than our actual answer. For our actual answer, I'd like to rename 2 and 4 tenths using only tenths. How many tenths would that be? Right, 24 tenths. Let's use an area model to be able to solve this problem. So we decomposed 2 and 4 tenths to 24 tenths. And we'll figure out all of these partial products. So these rows represent 3 times 24 tenths and 40 times 24 tenths. 3 times 20 is 60. 3 times 4 is 12. 40 times 20 is 800. And 40 times 4 is 160. So this is 72 and 960. Add them together. We're adding tenths. 2, 3, 1,032 tenths, which equals 103.2. Shrunk it so we can write out the standard algorithm. That's 24 tenths times 43. 3 times 4 is 12, 2, regroup of 1, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Cross out the regroup, place a 0, 4 times 4 is 16, 6, regroup of 1, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. You'll notice that these match. Add them together, 2, 3, 1, 10. 1,032 tenths, which in standard form is 103.2. So that's close to our estimate of 80. Here's another problem, 15.6 times 73. Let's go for our estimate first. 15.6 is close to 16. 73 is close to 70. And let's work that out. 7 times 6 is 42. 2, regroup of 4. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 4 is 11. Our estimate is 1,120. Let's do our standard algorithm first this time. That's 156 tenths. When we rename it, times 73. 3 times 6 is 18, 8, regroup of 1. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16. 6, regroup of 1. And 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. Place a 0. 7 times 6 is 42. 2, regroup of 4. 7 times 5 is 35, plus 4 is 39. 9, regroup of 3. And 7 times 1 is 7, plus 3 is 10. Carefully add those together. Remember, I'm working with tenths, and so when I rename it, that's 1,138 and 8 tenths. Let's show our area model. For our area model, we have 156 tenths. <coughs>
and we're multiplying by 73. We'll break it apart into 3 and 70. One hundred times three is three hundred. Three times fifty is one fifty. And three times six is eighteen. When I add those together, I get four hundred sixty eight, which matches. Seventy times a hundred is seven thousand. Seventy times fifty is three thousand five hundred and 70 times 6 is 420. When I add those together, I get 10,920. Adding those together, I get 11,388, which matches. And remember, it's tenths, though. So I'd have to rename it. OK, it's your turn to try. 3.5 times 42. Our estimate, 4 times 40, which is 160. What did you get for your exact answer? Did you write out a standard algorithm? 35 tenths times 42. 2 times 5 is 10, 0, regroup a 1. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Place a 0. 4 times 5 is 20, 0, regroup a 2. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14. So I get 1,470 tenths, which equals 147. What did your area model look like? 30 plus 5 tenths. And then we have 2 along with 40. Two times 30 is 60. Two times 5 is 10. If we added those together, we would get 70. 40 times 30, 1,200. 40 times 5, 200. Add those together, we get 1,400. Add together 70 with 1,400, we get 1,470 tenths, which does equal 147. So our standard algorithm matches our area model.